Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so another fun integral. And uh, to start, uh, let x equal um, sine theta, right? Then uh, first, let's take care of the limits of integration. So um, zero here would mean, since zero is about x, that we have zero is equal to sine theta, which implies that theta is equal to zero, right? And then, uh, so this implies that theta is equal to zero. And then when um, one is equal to sine theta, it implies that theta is equal to pi over two, right? Um, so what we're saying is our integral becomes zero to pi over two. And then since x is sine theta, the numerator becomes the natural log of sine theta divided by, and the denominator is gonna be the square root of one minus sine squared, right? We know that one minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta, and the square root of that is just cosine theta. So um, this is slanted, but yeah, what I'm saying is with the substitution that x be sine theta, the square root of one minus um, x squared is going to become simply cosine theta, right? Okay, cool. And then um, dx, right, is going to be, since x is um, sine theta, dx is going to be cosine theta d theta. Ah, how convenient. So dx is cosine theta d theta. So what happens? Like this, right? So we have 0 to pi over 2, the natural log of sine theta d theta. Now, this integral is a very interesting integral, but I already devoted a different video to it, and I showed you the result of uh, this integral. And so I'll leave a link to um, the solution to this integral, but we know that it is, well, maybe you don't uh, care as much to remember it as I do, but yeah, we know that it is equal to um, negative pi over two times the natural log of two. So. That's our answer here. Yeah? Cool. All right. Uh, keep watching. Take care.